Tonight, K-State students are taking a stand against a tweet making fun of George Floyd, and Twitter is taking a stand too. The post has been making waves since it was put up, and Sully Ingalls joins us live now in the studio with the latest. Sully? Yeah, Hannah, as of this morning, Twitter has decided that tweet glorified violence and it has been deleted, but its shock waves are still being felt and K-State student athletes have been calling for change on campus. As they spoke out, their coaches have stood with them to make sure that they know that this is a fight together, one school, one family, and one big struggle. Coach Kleiman took to Twitter this evening to say racism is not welcome at K-State and Black Lives Matter. Van Malone, the highest ranking black coach on the football staff, reiterated that they are here to fight this on campus. We can't give hate a platform. We ain't moving, he said. Both head men's and women's basketball coaches Bruce Weber and Jeff Mitty also took to Twitter over the last few days and denounced the tweet K-State. Women's basketball player Chrissy Carr was sent a photo of her in a noose, and she, along with freshman standout Ayuka Lee and tons of other K-State athletes, took to social media to post this yesterday. This post from football and basketball players read in part, we are demanding that Kansas State University put a policy in place that allows a student to be dismissed for displaying openly racist, threatening or disrespectful actions towards a student or group of students. They also asked for strong consequences for the student who tweeted Jane McNeil. We reached out to K-State administration for comment and they told KSNT News we do not disclose disciplinary action taken with students due to privacy regulations, but did send us their regulations for student sanctions, well as reaction from more players and coaches can be seen on our website, KSNT.com.